So here's an example of what a lot of people are doing wrong. They're simply not challenging the things their opponents are throwing at them. So this is where I would like to introduce the concept of counter zoning. Yes, I know. It's a simple concept, but it's very important because it halts the zoning momentum of your opponent. In addition to that, it gives a message saying, no, you will not over abuse your zoning tools, and yes, you're going to have to watch out for my zoning tools too. Once you establish your zoning, you're going to notice a pattern of your opponent. That is, they're either going to be walking, then ducking, or dashing, then ducking. So now that this is happening, you can utilize some tactics to get some effective shots in. The examples I'm showing are delayed gunshots, whiff normals, and switch stances. There's a reason why this works so well. If you establish your zoning already, then your opponent knows to look for a quick gunshot so that they can perform their own move, which will either be a dash or zone. In this state of mind, you can use these tools to bait that movement so that you can punish that movement with the actual gunshot. 